thanks so much. Well, in the car world, things aren't always as they seem. Your vehicle may say Nissan on the outside, but that may not necessarily be who actually built it. Doug the Cars Art joins us live to explain who owns whom. Hey, Doug. Hey, Doug. Hi there. Hey, Nick and Mary. No, it's absolutely incredible. I mean, a lot of people will come up to me on any given day and they'll say, you know what, Doug? I'm really impressed with the U.S. auto industry and I really want to buy an American car. And I say to them all the time, okay, well, do you really know who owns the company that you believe is American? They'll go, well, I think so. And I will often say, think again. I've got a graphic here. And a lot of this, you guys can play along a little quickly and, uh, and see what you think. Let's go to the first one. Who do you think owns Mini and Rolls Royce? Any idea? Gary if you're going to buy a Mini Cooper or Rolls Royce, you're actually <laughs> buying a BMW. That is the company, uh, the parent owner of that. Interesting. Uh, going on to the next one. Yeah, the, the next one is fascinating because I actually own a Jaguar myself. This one is particularly disturbing to a lot of people who think that they're buying a British import. And that's because Jaguar and Land Rover are now owned by a company in India called Tata. Huh. Tata, an Indian-based automaker. Tata. They build the world's smallest car, but they also now build the Jag and the Land Rover. Interesting. A little surprising. Nice Tata. How about Nissan and it? Yeah, exactly. Well, and go to the next step. <laughs> Nissan and Infiniti you may think you're buying the ultimate Jaguar. Japanese car, well, you're actually buying something that's owned by the French. Wow. And that's because Renault, <laughs> it's true. Renault, the French automaker, owns a controlling interest in Nissan and Infiniti. Next, Kia. A lot of people think it's a great small car, and it is, but it's actually built by its parent company, that being the other Korean automaker, Hyundai. On to the next one. You want to buy one of those little smart cars? You may think that they're not very sophisticated, and they're somewhat built cheaply. Think again, because smart is actually owned by Mercedes-Benz. Ah. You got a lot of stuff being packed into the smart car. Real quickly, how about an Audi for you, Marianne and Nick? A <laughs> Bentley, maybe a Bugatti, and a Lamborghini. <laughs> Pretty nice cars, but you're also buying nothing more than a vehicle built by Volkswagen. Wow. <laughs> and that's because Volkswagen owns all of those companies. Real quickly, Hummer, remember those guys? They're still around, but they might be used, uh, well, more appropriately in China because the the Chinese now own Hummer, Saturn owned by a company called Penske, the same guys who got famous for renting trucks. Oh, sure, yeah. I'm really not sure what Penske's doing with Saturn. I don't think they're building cars currently. And then finally, Chrysler, Dodge, Ferrari, Alfa Romeo, Maserati, all owned by the Italian automaker Fiat. And that's a big surprise for a lot of people who are up on a Dodge truck. The bottom line is this. We're living in a world economy, and if you're going to be loyal to a particular type of vehicle, you might want to be more focused on that vehicle than you are focused on the origin of the company, because everybody seems to be building everything. Stick around. If you've got a car problem, get to our Facebook page. It's the car. It's uh, Facebook.com slash the cars are if you post up your tough auto question, we're going to put it on the air and answer it live here in the garage. And I'll tell you, my Jag was built in 87, <laughs> and uh, it was, uh, at least at that point, still built in Britain, where it should have been, nonetheless. Be careful. When all, all right, was right with the world. Ta -ta. Thanks. Ta -ta. Ta -ta. We'll see you exactly. then. Thanks, hey, by the way, if you have a question for the cars, Ari, it's two shops in the area. If you'd like to drop by, one in Citrus Heights at uh, San Juan and Greenback, the other in Sacramento, El Camino at Bell. You can also email him at thecarsar.com. All right.